Okay, so what are the components needed to build a computer? So there's seven key components that you need to get it working. So if you want to get on the internet, browse uh, websites, uh, look at YouTube, channels like this, you need seven key components that will get it working. So first one being obviously the case, you need something to store everything in. This is a basic mid tower uh, case comes with a tempered front glass and it's quite cool. Um, RGB fans, um, LED fans, when it's lit up, you can see what you see inside. Um, so first thing, a case. Second thing is the motherboard. Now this is where um, you plug everything into. This is where everything attaches to. So you need a motherboard. Uh, fitted into that you need a uh, CPU, central processing unit, this is what people refer to as the brain of the computer. So that um, goes into the socket on the board and then that is called by a heatsink and fan. Now these get incredibly hot, especially when they're under load and this, the job of this is to cool it down. This was actually supplied by CCL, all these components, and this was like sort of pre-installed. Um, with this heat sink and fan, as you notice there's a little grey paste under there. That's known as um, thermal grease or thermal compound thermal paste. The idea of that is to just basically fill the microscopic layers on the, uh, the cracks on the processor and it just aids in dissipating heat from the, from the chip. So you need the motherboard, you need a processor, you need a fan to cool it. Um, what else do you need? You need RAM. Uh, random access memory or memory. This is sort of like temporary storage, really quick. Um, and this is this is a key component which is which is um, necessary. So you need RAM. You need um, a permanent storage. That's your hard drive. Um, in this particular build, um, they're using an SSD, solid state drive. So this has got incredibly quick um, read write speeds. So this this is um, this is a uh, upgraded newer technology to the previous drives um, that were spinny drives. It was like platters inside that spun around and you'd um, it would read and write the data from these. This is basically a circuit board, uh, same sort of um, technology as a flash drive. So that's your solid state drive. Uh, the other key component you need is a power supply. You need to power all the components in the case. So this is done by this bad boy. This is a power supply and it provides power to the board and power to all the components that you plug into it. What else have we got? The graphics card. So this enables you to output to your screen. So you plug that into the board and then you plug your monitor in and this is what outputs the, um, the signal to that. So that's the seven key components that you need to um, build and get a, get a computer working. You've got the board, you've got the processor, you've got the RAM, you've got the hard drive, you've got the power supply uh, and the graphics card. So how do they all go into the case? Well, that's what we're gonna do next. So let's get the case up and let's start building. Okay, so before we put the motherboard into the computer, we wanna try and get as much attached to it and installed onto it um, as we can, because once you're inside uh, the tower, um, your working space is going to be limited, so you ain't going to have a lot of room. So the more you can get installed onto the board before you put it inside, well, it will just be better. It will make your life um, a lot easier. Now, I'd like to say that normally when we're building these, we're building them in a workshop or I'm in the shop, and I follow um, ESD precautions. That's electric static discharge. Electrical components are really um, susceptible to... Um, electric static damage. So they're really sensitive components. So you can damage them if you're if you're not grounded properly. So um, in the workshop, in the shop, we normally have electric static um, wristbands uh, that discharges your static and we'd have, we'd have mats. Um, for the purpose of this video and the fact that we're in a studio, um, we're gonna be building it without that, but just bear that in mind when you're building your um, computer. First, the last thing you wanna do is ruin you know, expensive components. Okay, so before we put this into the case, we're going to install the RAM and we're going to install the processor and um, fan. So let's do that now. Okay, so applying the thermal paste. So there's various methods of doing this. Some people put um, apply it by putting a cross. Some people do a thin layer all over the chip. Um, I, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to put just a little 
roll up in the middle and then the heat sink and fan that's just gonna fit onto the top of that these these connectors push down into the board just make sure they're nice and tight and the processor is secure and then the um, fan just plugs into the CPU header on the board and that's the thermal paste and the CPU fan um, attached okay so the next thing we're going to install is the RAM now you need to check your motherboard uh, manual for this and it will tell you what socket um, you put the RAM into um, depending on how many sticks your um, Going to be going to be putting into the board so obviously if you've got four sticks you put them in four slots but if you're using two on this particular board we're going to put be putting it into a2 and b2 which are the the gray socket so if you just look at the notch on the stick uh, you can line that up to the notch on the board so you know that you're um, fitting it into the right socket so you just put it into the socket and then push down to here a click that one and then the other one exactly the same push it into the socket and then just push into here click and that's that done so that's now the uh, CPU and the RAM installed now we're going to take the motherboard and put it into the case and get the rest of the components um, hooked up to it Okay, so that's all the screws in place. So now the motherboard's fixed firmly to the case. The next thing we're gonna do is install the power supply. Now on this particular case, the power supply lives in here. So to install that, we need to access the back. And with this designer case, you've got um, a vent there. So you've got the fan there, so that will live like so and that's attached to the case by four screws one two three four so let's pop those in Okay, that's the power supply installed. Okay, so before we attack all these cables and sort all these out into their proper place, I'm gonna pop the hard drive in. So we've got this solid state drive, and I'm gonna site that. You can see that, I'm gonna site that there. So, and that'll be screwed in at the back. So let's get that. Okay, that's the solid state drive all installed. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is connect up all these cables, the power supply uh, and all the other cables and they all live mainly down here and the um, power supply is in here and then you've got the processor power. So let's get these connected up. Okay, so I pulled all the cables through from the back. So we've got the um, power for the CPU it's up the top. I pulled through cables on you'll notice there's little um, access holes so we can pull all the cables through so route them through the nearest place to where you're going to be connecting them in and we've got the 24 pin uh, power for the board that goes in there so let's start to get all these hooked up first one I'm going to plug in is the um, 24 pin power supply okay so this just plugs in there's a little um, little catch there and there's a little lip on the connector so that just pushes in, make sure it's in nice and tight, that's connected, 
Okay, so the next cable we're going to connect up is the 12 volt CPU um, power. Now, depending on what case you've got, uh, this could be 4 pin or it could be um, an 8 pin like this one. So I've got two red connectors there for the power. I'm going to plug those in. Okay, and that's that's done. Okay, so the next three cables we're going to hook up is USB 3, which goes into there, and then we're going to hook up um, audio and USB. So just look along the bottom there, and you'll see it labelled audio and USB. So let's get these plugged in. audio and then the USB, USB. Now if you do notice that on top of the connector there's a little squared off um, blank bit so just look on the connector where there's a missing um, pin and then that will go in there. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is plug in the uh, solid state drive. So I've just fed a uh, starter cable through. So that's just power for that. It's just going to plug in. In there. And then we've got a starter cable. So I'm going to plug that into um, number one or zero, what you can get to, there's only one, there's only one drive on here, so it doesn't really matter. And then that's gonna go in to there. That's that done. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is get the graphics card installed, so that's fairly simple. Just line it up to your uh, PCI Express slot, and then just give it a little push, and it will slot in place. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to fix that in place with a couple of um, couple of screws there. Okay, so that's the graphics card in place. So the next thing we need to do is just pull through the um, graphics card power and that's just going to take one of these connectors and that will just that's like that. That's now plugged in. Okay, so now we're going to pull these cables through the back and we're just going to um, tidy everything up. Okay guys, so we've got everything plugged in, mouse, keyboard, power, moment of truth. We've got power. There we 
and we've already got Windows 10 installed on this hard drive so hopefully it will just boot straight into Windows. And there you go, it's nice and quick with that solid state drive. So there you go guys, that's how you build a PC. Uh, we look forward to seeing you in the next video. In the meantime, take care and stay safe.